What's going on guys? My name is Dustin and welcome back to another NASCAR Diecast 124 scale reviews. So today we're taking a look at the Denny Hamlin number 11 2013 Toyota Camry FedEx left turn tribute car to the late great Chase Jason Leffler. Sorry about that. I nearly had you know, a little brain fart there. Normally, I would review cars up to 2011, but but I'm going to make this an exception. I got this car for free. I will explain why when we take a look at the car later on. Well, here's the back. It's a Joe Gibbs race race car. It was actually very cool about it since. This is actually a color chrome that means the purple part in the back is chrome and it's very reflective. You will see why later on. So let's get let's get to it. Alright, we take this off. There's a photo of Hamlin. <laughs> the dual the deliminator or however you say it. These cars are actually protected with styrofoam for transit. So here's the car. What I'm gonna do is take the take this car out and unscrew the bottom part. So I'm gonna be right back. Okay, now we have the car out. We're actually looking at the car right now. It's very amazing. It does have color chrome the chrome part is only purple is actually you can actually see the reflection of the light shining off now there you go the camera light is reflecting off of the body of the purple part of the car which actually very amazing because I've never had a color chrome car before and now this is actually the first time I have one I don't normally collect other schemes or finishes style, but this is absolutely amazing. The car is based off of the 2013 Toyota Camry. This is a Gen 6 car. Tell because the windshield has the two Toyota logos and Hamlin in the middle. Since Denny Hamlin is the race driver. So take a look underneath the hood the engine eh, ain't too shabby you have the Toyota logo let's go places Toyota let's go places the front I absolutely love the front because normally I don't collect just like I said I don't normally collect Toyota Camry vehicles since you know Toyota is actually not my kind of vehicle but this is absolutely awesome and instead of the yellow is the orange Goodyear logos no something a little much more unique than the regular yellow you have a lot, a lot of little you know little sponsors like mobile one 3m Coors light KN Jags good stuff basically Main sponsor is FedEx. Yeah, I actually like the way they actually add the American ethanol gas tank right here. So the gas can go in. The back. Really like the way they actually stretch out the backup lights or decals. For the Camry, so the trunk does open by the way, so you can actually see what's inside. If I can, yeah, you can only see it just left with a little bit in there. It also has the Joe Gibbs Racing logo right here, since it didn't have one up front. And I really like the way they did the 11 for the top, which is basically the orange and the purple outline. And roof flaps does open, by the way. These are actually some of the biggest roof flaps that I've ever seen. 
If I can get the other one. Oh, God. I can't get the other one to open. Oh. Well, hey, it opened just a little bit. Alright, so. Basic 11. Basically the white with the purple out. Sec purple secondary outline and the orange primary outline. And there's left turn up here instead of Denny Hamlin's name. Reason why is that since left turn's name's up here, Jason Leffler was was in Joe Gibbs Racing. Actually raced raced in the eleven for he he rejoined Joe Gibbs Racing in two thousand five with a FedEx sponsor and this was actually his scheme back in two thousand five. But he was on uh, able to qualify for the Coca Cola six hundred. For some reason, so Leffler returned Braun, and ironically, he made a single start in the 2013 series. He started in the 19 Toyota Camry, and this was scary. Started and parked, finishing 43rd. That it's just weird. Flas race was basically po Pocono Raceway, and Jason Leffler died at a sprint car heat race and died due to injuries. So that was like a hit. The first race was actually. 2001 Daytona 500, and his final race will actually be the 2013 party in the Poconos. So that's just unbelievable. Well, I forgot to say the car, the wheels do turn, which is real good. And let's take a look underneath the chassis. Is all great. Before I filmed this, there was like a little specks of I'm trying to make sure I'm not blocking the voice and speaker. Before I did this review, there was a little specks of dust that was on the back of styrofoam on the back, so I had to, you know, blow them off. So, yeah. So, my review. On this is it's absolutely amazing. I love the car itself, and the reason why. And all right, so a lot of you're going to be asking me how I got this for free. Well, or how did I got this? And what was the price? Well, here's how I got it for free. There was a Facebook page called Pole Night Distribution. I will leave a link to their Facebook page down in the description. They had a contest. And all you had for this car, all you had to do is share your favorite NASCAR memory. I entered it and I said my first NASCAR race, which was the nationwide race that I went to before heading off to Nebraska. And that was good. And and how uh, and bleh. But yeah, even though it was nationwide, I still had a blast. And how I got the tickets to go to the race was I entered a contest from radio station by race actually racing a time trial go kart event. I knew I was going to lose hope, but 
someone told me they were going to go for the pit passes. The, basically, it was a grand prize, but why up third? He gave me his tickets, and I was able to go. And then Thursday, Thursday before the race, my grandmother unexpectedly, unexpectedly out of the blue, passed away a couple of days before the race. Now, I was able to go to the Nationwide, but I gave one of my friends a pair of tickets to the Spring Cup race. Because I didn't want to see those tickets go to waste. And also, about this car, I'm going to review the window net. Simply amazing. It's just basically you know, nylon cloth. And you have the diecast identification number 00072. That's actually the final. This was actually the final car that was made. So I might cherish this, and who knows? Maybe around in a couple of years or so, I may not may know how much this is worth. So yeah. So uh, my name is Dustin, and I will see you whenever I. Get a new diecast car, maybe from Atlanta Motor Speedway. And I will still do a vlog there. And it's Dustin signing off.